As you can hear, it's very noisy here on the Causeway Bridge. Well, one sound the Causeway Commission is trying to prevent is hubcaps flying off, car parts cracking, and broken glass. Widely known for holding the title of the world's longest bridge over a body of water, the Causeway Bridge stretches over 24 miles of Lake Pontchartrain. However, after 60 years, the Causeway Twin Span is in need of safety improvements. There's so many accidents and there's nowhere for them to pull off. There's no shoulder, so they need to come up with something better because people don't pay attention enough on the causeway. The needs of Louisiana drivers caught the attention of the Causeway Commission. The most urgent project will be building segmented shoulders and safety bays starting next year. Currently, the only stopping areas on the bridge are the seven crossovers almost four miles apart. This, this would be the, the most significant safety improvements to the Causeway Bridge since the second bridge was built in 1969, almost 50 years ago. In its infancy, the bridge only saw a few drivers. Today, about 20,000 vehicles come south to New Orleans every morning and return each evening. Dufour Show says that even on a quiet day, there are four to eight breakdowns. Once these are completed, the safety of the bridge will be enhanced tremendously, particularly if you if there's a breakdown, and as we mentioned, you've got a bunch every day, this will help out a lot. It will not only re re reduce the number of crashes we have, but probably reduce the backups. And there is a chance that the federal government may send backup and pay part of the safety improvements. The president's uh, administration has considered the causeway as one of the 50 top uh, infrastructure projects for the country. So there's a possibility of getting some federal funds coming to it. If that happens, then the tolls would come down proportionally. If not, the projected toll increase from $3 to $5 for drivers without toll tags and from $2 to $3 for those with toll tags will stay in place for 30 years to pay for the $50 million project. The toll hike will also pay specifically for work on the southbound span. And I think moving it to $5, pretty much everybody can afford that. So I think it's a smart move, especially because there are so many accidents on the causeway. When construction is completed, the commission will direct its attention to building higher rails to prevent cars from going overboard. With these projects, Louisiana commuters can cross with more peace of mind. For North Shore News, I'm Maria Goddard.